What is up guys? We're gonna be heading to the Rose concert in Atlanta and I'm so freaking stoked and I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me. Let's freaking do this. Yeah, so I wanted to kind of start it off by letting you guys know I have been following the Rose now for about maybe a year. I really got into them whenever I listened to them singing the song Time at the Joshua Tree. Like I got hardcore into that band after that because I learned how to play that song on guitar, got obsessed with their lyrics, really got into their vocals, just loved their vocals. I feel like that stood out to me as something completely different and I really, really got into it. And so I'm very excited to be going to check this band out live and I'm stoked to bring you guys with me. I'm gonna film a lot while I'm at the concert, hopefully get to say what's up to a lot of people that are there, but it's about a four and a half hour drive for me. So we're gonna get a lot of videos of the road and if I think about some stuff, I'll just randomly turn it on and we'll talk then. Okay, so just ran into traffic and it said it was gonna be like a two hour delay on 24 and I was like, dang it! Ah! So instead we used Waze and they have rerouted us around and stuff. It's gonna take like 10 extra minutes, but that's way better than two hours. I saw the slowest strike I've ever seen in my life just yeah. then. Did not think that this was actually gonna spit us out at the interstate, but I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to it. So here we go. Finally freaking made it. Holy crap, stuck in traffic for so long. Mm
Okay, so the concert was freaking amazing. They play their own instruments live, they sing live, everything was awesome, everything was live, and I thought that, like, the thing that I like about that is, I just recently went to a metal concert, and I heard the freaking drummer phoning it in, meaning that the guy wasn't actually playing what I heard live, and it was at a metal concert! What in the heck? Really bothered me. So going to this Rose concert and hearing them singing their own songs and playing their own music was really, really cool and refreshing and I loved it. Their voices sounded amazing. They were really spot on with their instruments. They really, really put on a good show. And then at the end of the show, what I thought was awesome, they were throwing out roses. I mean, they had dozens of roses that they threw out. They threw out their merch, which I thought was really cool. A lot of bands, that's how they make their money on merch. And I think it's amazing that the Rose was just throwing out merch at their shows. Very cool to see that. And, uh, and yeah, and then everybody that came up to me and said, what's up? Thank you guys. That was freaking awesome. It was amazing to talk to y'all. And um, yeah, really, really fun show, man. Now, I've got about a four hour drive left. We're driving back from Atlanta to Nashville. We're stopping at a Bucky's in about 20 miles. So I'll see you guys back there. Freaking catch y'all in a minute. That place is huge. It's like a freaking Walmart of the gas stations. It's like gas stations done correctly. Jesus, goosies. What is this? Okay, so before we get back on the road, I wanted to show you guys what all we got. Boom, one of these little energy drinks, like a crap load of pralines, which apparently they make pralines. Some little beaver nuts. Beaver nuggets, sorry. A freaking blueberry scone thingy. Dude, there's no way that this lady charged me correctly for this. Some kind of little cream cheese thingy. Little cream cheese thing. There's no way this was all $10. And then a freaking big old freaking thing. Pulled pork barbecue sandwich. All for $10. This alone was seven bucks. <laughs> there's no way all this was only $10. What has happened here tonight? 10 bucks, $10, boosts. They got the discounts on discounts on discounts, I guess. I don't know exactly. Maybe I got there for happy hour and it was like half off, but everything, literally I just paid $10 for all this. How does that even work? I don't know. Okay, so I know this is kind of really random. I've been listening to that song Wonder a lot. Last couple of lines in the chorus say, begging to uncover all the things under the halo. And like, to me, it just speaks to my adventurous spirit, man. That's what this whole thing is about. All this travel vlogs that I've been doing, all the traveling, all the freaking exploring, all the finding stuff, all the meeting everybody. I want to see everything in the world. I don't want to leave a freaking rock unturned in my life. And I want to see all the freaking stuff and discover all the things underneath the halo. I love that. I love that line so much, man. And I've just been listening to that a lot. I've been singing that song in the car a lot while on this road. And uh, I don't know, man, that really, I love that line. I want you guys to come traveling with me. I want y'all to see everything with me. I want to experience the freaking world in my life up until the last little bit like i've always had a very adventurous spirit but never really acted on a lot of the things i feel like i got kind of complacent in like the little box that i put my life in while still really wanting to get out there and do stuff so as soon as i actually started doing things and like created this travel vlog and started doing more stuff and making myself go do things i feel like since i started to do that i feel more fulfilled in my life but it just is like fueled more desire and more like more wanting to get out there and do more stuff once the rose posted that they were going to be playing in atlanta i tried really really hard to get a ticket to this whenever someone offered me a ticket to this concert i was like let's make it happen let's freaking do it so today i've driven like a solid 12 hours so far i've been driving all day today just to get there and back but it was worth it freaking amazing concert and really making me miss playing live shows man i miss playing music so much that was such a huge part of my life and uh 
I really hope to, by the end of the year, have at least a song to put out so everybody can hear some of my music. So I'm very excited about that. This concert was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Anybody that does, if you're the one person watching this video right now, just know that like, at the end of the concert, Wu Sung said, I believe every single person was meant to do something amazing with their life. And uh, for me, I think this is a lot of what it is, man. I'm pursuing it right now. And uh, it's hard for me to put into words what it really is that I feel like I'm doing, but I feel like I am doing it. And I want you, whoever is watching this right now, to be that same person and get out there and find what you're passionate about in life and freaking make it happen. And then comment what that thing is below. Let me know what you're doing. This life was meant to be lived. So whether it be going out to concerts and enjoying music with people, starting a new career or doing whatever you want to do, going to school or raising kids or whatever you want to do in the world, but whatever that is, I hope that you find something that you're very, very passionate about and I hope that you make that a reality in your life and I hope you can share that passion with other people because it's been a really freaking cool year for me doing that and uh, very appreciative to anybody who's watching this video with me right now. So for real, for me to you, I hope you guys are having a blessed day or night, whatever time it is you're watching this. For me, it is 1.08 a.m. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. If you'll need anything at all, please message me. All of my socials are at John Reeves Live. And I'll catch y'all then. Freaking toodles!